Hi, in this video we're going to work with the search form and the search for name function in our entity project. We're using entity to work with a database and we're going to work with a search form. So let's, uh, let's say we got the search form already built and now we need to create this method called search for name. So this is a continuation of a project and if you haven't done it already, go back and look at some of the previous videos. So the first thing I'm going to start with in building this search query is to start with the context.gadgets object. So we remember from previous work that this will get everything in the database that is a gadget. Alright, so now we're going to build a link statement. So if you don't know C-sharp link, that's another issue. But here's how it works. We're going to create a, a var and call it gadgets. And then we're going to use link. So link works like this. You say from, and then I'm going to use just the letter G. You can use any letter you want. Uh, G in the context gadgets, where G.name contains. So keyword here, contains. It doesn't have to match exactly. And then it says, I'm going to contain the search phrase. And then I'm going to select G if it does. So that is a link statement. So it queries kind of like SQL statements do. Then after I've got the gadgets uh, list here, then I can go ahead and pass it along. So let's type in gadgets and we've got ourselves a finished product here. So this should actually work. It's pretty simple. One more line of code and then return it to a view. All right, so here we go. We've got ourselves the search button. So I'll do a search form and I'm going to search for the name. Let's try gold again and search and let's see what comes up. And sure enough, we've got ourselves a filtered list. So everything that has gold in the name has now shown up in my search results. So it looks like the next thing we need to do is work on the edit form and update some of these records. 